I tend to like characters that are eccentric and paradoxical and strange and, um, you know, that leave me guessing, um, that blurt things that don't really make sense at times. So I like to have that three-dimensionality. Um, and the way I do that um, in terms of my particular process is uh, I spend a lot of time before the actual writing creating a Bible for myself, which is basically created through just a pen and paper. And I start writing histories of who each of these characters are, what their secrets are, their backgrounds, who their parents are, what are they afraid of, what do they want more than anything, what would they kill for, because that's always very important to know. Uh, so I spent a lot of time prior to the writing just saturating myself with who these characters are, and sometimes writing in their particular voices, and then also pulling a lot of visuals, usually from the internet, but other books, um, not necessarily pictures of celebrities like, you know, Jennifer Lawrence's Beatrice or anything like that. It's more just like texture, like um, what would this particular character gravitate towards if um, he or she were walking through an antique shop or something and, you know, someone pulled down this, like, little um, antique photograph. So things that um, that each of these characters would gravitate towards. And then at the end of all of that research, you sort of have a sense of the texture of these people. And then it really character grows from each draft. And for each of my books, I it seems I do about three drafts. There's the first draft, the second draft, and the third draft. The second draft and the third draft, my editor is there helping me um, and offering a lot of feedback. So I think that's when the final elements of character really take place in that final editorial process. Yeah.